Complements of sets. The complement of a set is everything that is not in the set. If the set is called A, then the complement is called A with a little C up, a superscript C. Note, a complement is something nice to say to someone. In order to tell the difference, the, the, the difference is the letter I here. Think of compliments or something that makes the person feel well, the, the I inside of themselves shines when they hear it. Complement, the E there, it means something that fits nicely with something. If someone says, oh, your strengths complement our company, that means you're a good fit here. Anyway, in order to properly understand what a complement is, one must first know what everything means. You know, everything that is not in the set, well, where do we draw the everything from? For this reason, we must have a universal set, the set of all the things currently under consideration, and this is usually written as U. For example, if U is all the, the set of all X's, such that X is a student at MCLA, and A is the set of all X's such that X is a student currently taking Math 102, then what is A complement? A complement is all of the things from the everything, which is all of the students at MCLA, such that they are not in A. They are not currently taking Math 102, and that would be all of those X's such that X is a, or the set of all X's. X is an MCLA student, but X is not making, taking math for the liberal arts. As another example, suppose u is z. Our universal set is the set of all the integers. That's what we're talking about. And the set b is the set of all x in z, all integers, such that x is 2 times n for some n in the integers. So it is all, we only have the numbers that are 2 times an integer. That's also known as the even integers. I'll reiterate this later. But if b is the set of all the in even integers, then the complement of b is all of the odd integers. And I will get into this in more detail, but if you can't be written as 2 times something, you can be written as 2 times something plus 1. This is a good time to give these, these definitions. Definitions. A number is even if it is 2 times some integer. Here are some examples of even numbers. Yes, that's right. Zero is an even number. Negative four is an even number. Why? Negative six is two times negative three. That's what it means to be an even number. It is two times some integer. Negative three is an integer. Double it. Negative six. Negative two is two times negative one. Zero is two times zero. If you are two times something, you're even. Zero can be looked at as two times something. Four is two times two. Compare this to the odd in numbers. The odd integers are two times something plus one, where that something is an integer. For example, negative three, negative one, one, three, five, seven, basically all of the not even integers. What is negative three? Negative three is two times negative two, negative four, plus 1. That gives you negative 3. And 1 is 2 times 0 plus 1. And 5 is 2 times 2 plus 1. And 7 is 2 times 3 plus 1. So this is going to play a role later on in another class. The difference between even numbers and odd numbers. Even numbers are 2 times something. Odd numbers are 2 times something plus 1 more.